My name is Susan Rushton, and I run Silver Screen Classic Movie Series, the first Saturday of the month at the Auburn Library. I show them three times at noon, 3.30 and 7.30 p.m., and they are free because the library presents Silver Screen. I am thrilled every time I, I get a chance to say that, and it's a wonderful thing for the library to do, and I am always grateful. Thank you, library. And thank you, County. Okay, uh, I, we, I'm talking about Silver Screen's 2020 year. This is our 24th. And um, my the, sh the movie I'm showing in March is Born Yesterday, March 7th, Born Yesterday. This is a politically themed movie in a politically themed year. It's one of two political movies, politically themed movies that I'm showing this year because this is a political year. So let me move away from movies for a moment and encourage you to vote this year. Vote in the, in the primary and vote in the presidential election. The close of registration, if you need to register to vote, you, you need to register 15 days before the uh, before the election. So the the election in March is March 3rd and Placer County elections is at 2956 Richardson Boulevard in North Auburn in DeWitt and you can also go online placerelections.com. I don't I'm not here to tell you who to vote for. I'm just telling you begging you, encouraging you to vote. Okay, so back to the movie. This movie is one of my favorites. It's a kick. This is March 7th, and I'm going to read to you about it in, in from this Super Watt Dazzler um, brochure I have, all about Silver Screen. Born Yesterday. Now that he's dealing with D.C. Pauls, DC politicians. Junk man Broderick Crawford thinks his main squeeze, Judy Holliday, needs wising up. He hires savvy and very handsome reporter William Holden for the job. But Judy's a quick study and she learns more than Crawford had in mind. So it's political and educational and a and a a movie that will make a person a fan of books. No wonder I'm showing it. This, this movie is based on the Broadway play by the same name and starring the same heroine. Judy Holliday uh, came directly from, from Broadway for this. She was she, she acted in 1,600 performances. So when you see her, her acting, her, when you see her playing Jin with Broderick Crawford, this is a basic part of the, the movie, and she's done it forever, and so she's an expert. She's wonderful. Her character's wonderful. Um, her character is convinced that she has all she needs. What, why do I need to know more? I've, I got what I want. He gives me what I want. He's, they, she, they've been together for seven years and she's wanting for nothing. But she keeps making mistakes in front of senators' wives, in front of senators, in front of lawyers, in front of... So, so she doesn't know what the Supreme Court is. She doesn't know who Jefferson was. She doesn't know who... Uh, she doesn't know, um, and and um, the lawyer, the eternal lawyer, the live-in lawyer of Broderick Crawford, um, suggests that that he do something about this because in the past it hasn't her her ignorance hasn't mattered, but now it does, and it could could alter some situations, so. He brings in the worst possible person he could, a reporter who cares about reporting in Washington. Who, and he agrees, just, for, just because, he, he agrees to um, wise, wise up Billy, Billy Dawn, which is her name. She doesn't think she does. She doesn't think she needs wising up because, you know, she, she reads the paper, the back of the paper, the comics, he says, William Holden says, read the front once in a while. Read the front. 
and he's he's intent about it. He's intense. He's he's he he wants her to start reading, to start listening to music other than bebop. Um, he wants her. He takes her around Washington, gives her lots of tours, and she starts to fall in love with him, and vice versa. And she says, I, I don't know why it's so important to you. He says, and I'm quoting, it's sort of a cause. I want everybody to be smart, as smart as they can be. A world full of ignorant people is too dangerous to live in. Oh, no wonder she falls in love with him. And it turns out that she has more power than she thinks she does. Her, her boyfriend, uh, Broderick Crawford, has several junkyards, several gigantic junkyards, and she has control of them. So that when she, and so, so this is more complicated than uh, she realized. It's more, it's more complicated than Broderick Crawford realizes because the more she learns, the more she realizes how much she doesn't know and how much there is to learn, of course, that's what education is all about. And the more she questions Broderick Crawford, which puts her in danger, puts um, her, her teacher in danger too. But this is a comedy and we, we know immediately, we, we, we can't, we can't believe that Billy Dawn, Judy Holiday, would ever really be in danger because everybody loves her too much. Like we love her too much and William Holden loves her too much. So it ends happily, of course. And the, the other thing that ends happily is this in 1950, it was up for, she was up for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Um, against Gloria Swanson in Sunset Boulevard, and Betty Davis, and Ann Baxter in All About Eve. And, and there was another one whose name I can, can't ever remember, but those three dynamite, dynamite actresses got stuck together. And peop the votes, votes were, were sort of spread out all over the place. And Judy Holliday won Best Actress. Hooray! Um, that, that's what's so wonderful about education. So this is, this is one of the first, the, this is the first political movie I'm showing in 2020. Ha happy, happy politics are here again. Um, and I would love to see you there on March 7th in the Auburn Library, 350. 350 Nevada Street at noon, 3.30 and 7.30. The movie's free, so come along. And I would love it if you helped us celebrate an age long gone but fondly remembered. <laughs>